We're continuing our discussion of telling stories with data and preparing to create a dashboard. So we want to look at, before we get into building a dashboard, uh, one more visualization that we might be using. In our previous video, we looked at sand key diagrams. In this case, let's look at gauges. So if we are looking at organizational goals, we might have a target, a certain dollar amount in terms of sales, a certain number of units produced. We have a key performance indicator, which is how we're measuring our success. And then we have a goal and where we currently stand. And so we might want to be measuring and looking at how well we are doing at getting to those goals or outcomes. So a gauge will allow us to do that. So let's just take a look at what that looks like. So we're working in this dashboards um, workbook here. You can find it at drstephpowers.github.io slash BIA. And you can see right here, uh, dashboards to help summarize data from different sources. So to create a gauge, first of all, let's see what this looks like. So here's a gauge. We can specify what it is we're measuring. We can specify a top number here, and then the red would be our goal. And then what we can see here is we can measure our progress towards that goal. Here we're currently at 430. The goal is actually at 480. That's where this red line is. So we have 50 more to go. You can also specify in the light gray, you know, what is kind of the minimum and dark gray where we're maybe okay or average performance. And then we're trying to exceed that and get all the way to the goal. So you can have some shaded colors here on the scale to help mark and delineate between you know, what's not acceptable or what's average and so on. So to create this, the way you do this is this is a plotly.graph objects as go. So we need to import that plotly.graph underscore objects as go. And then this is a go figure. It's an indicator. And then what you are simply doing is we're going to leave this X and Y by itself. Don't touch that. What we want is our current value. So here we had set it at 430. Maybe we're not there. Maybe we're at 390. Okay. Then what is the title? What is the goal that we're trying to achieve here? It's sales. Maybe it's uh, revenue. Maybe it's number of customers, whatever that is, you can change that label right here. And then you want to specify these different uh, ranges of data. So what we want to know is these different cutoffs and where these cutoffs are happening for colors. Uh, and that ultimate goal. So in terms of the end gauge, right, this end gauge goes to 500. We could change it to something else. So we would change that here. Let's say it's 600. Okay. Then our reference currently is sitting at 380. We can adjust that. So let's actually just, I might have changed that before I ran it last. Let's change this to 400. And we can color code these ranges of light gray and gray. Maybe we'll leave those for a moment, run it, see what it looks like. Okay, so what we can see here is that we are at 390. And we are actually, if the reference here is 400, you can see that mark there, and 250. And then our goal of 600, oh, sorry, 600 here. And then um, 600 there. We have our grade going from zero to 250 and 250 to 400. Our current value here at 390, that's where the green is ending. Um, and what is the, where is that coming from? So sorry, the delta here, I'm like, what is going on? The delta here is to show the number you were at previously. So if the gauge is measuring over time, we can update it as we move through time. So the delta here, this is your previous level. So last time we looked at the gauge, last time it was updated, we were at 300. So what it shows you is that you're up by 90 compared to where you were before. Uh, so whatever you want in that uh, change here shows we're up 90 compared to previously. We're currently at a 390. 
Um, and then we can look at these different scales here in terms of what's acceptable ranges and ultimately the end of the gauge. Sorry, the threshold, the 490, this red line is this number right here. So I'll make this, for example, 550, rerun this. There we go. I had lost that number here. So here's the 550 threshold. That's where we're trying to get uh, as opposed to the 600. 600 is the end of the image, but we want to show where our goal is. So if our goal is 550, that's the threshold number. Um, and then if this is the acceptable range, 250 to 500, that's what's showing there. Uh, unacceptable might be the light gray. Um, so you can see where these numbers come from. All you have to do is change the value, your current number. Uh, if you want to show your previous number, give it a name and then show the end of how far, how far the whole thing goes, where your goal is, uh, and then some ranges if you're color coding pieces here. And you get a nice visualization to show how well you are meeting your particular goal. And so we could create a dashboard that shows all of our key performance indicators. And rather than just showing a scorecard, which shows you know our goal or KPI to date in our score, we could have multiples of these for each one so we could track our progress.